How are we doing guys? Joe Drake here with LiveExercise.com. I've got the lovely Rebecca here with me as well to demonstrate our exercise today. We're going to go through some of the basics and the details of the incline push-up. Right? So as far as equipment that you guys will need, your body, and then whether you guys have a bench, this is something you can do on any other raised surface. Um, this bench I do like though, something that's relatively stable that's not going to move when you guys are on it. All right, so we're going to start out going through some of the do's, you know, even from the basic starting position, things we do want to see. And then we're going to look at some potential mistakes that you guys might have in your technique and your form, and we'll make sure we try to reinforce really what we want to get out of the exercise. All right, so we're going to start with Rebecca in a, a, a perfect starting position, starting with the hands and feet. So we're going to go hands about shoulder width right down to the bench. She's just going to get those feet back so the body's nice and straight out. All right, and then she's also going to think about pushing through those hands to really keep some separation in your shoulder blades. So a couple key things here, guys, especially if you had a mirror you know, across from you while you're doing the exercise, we want to see a nice straight line between the hips and the shoulders. And that's probably even more important than the hips and the feet, all right, because that can sometimes lead to a, a little a sagging low back. Um, but this position looks great right now. So she looks like she's got a, a good width of the hands right outside of those shoulders. Thumbs maybe to the shoulders is a good, uh, a good indication as you get down into the push-up. All right, so great position here. Think about keeping your abdominals and your core nice and tight, like someone's going to come by and punch you in the stomach. So great start position here. Uh, and we're going to have her go ahead and go through a couple of slow repetitions and take a look at some of the good things that we want to see. So you can see Rebecca's elbows are going back, much safer and healthier for the shoulder than other positions. And she's taking her time. She's got a little pause at the bottom, a little pause at the top. And the great thing is nothing's moving in the midsection. So everything's pulled in nice and tight. She's probably even squeezing her butt a little bit too. That's going to keep the hips from moving or rotating in any direction. All right, so let's go ahead and go back up to our start position. And we want to see a couple of things, maybe some of the don'ts, so things we want to avoid in this, uh, in this exercise. So first one would be uh, someone who get in the position, maybe a little sagging of the low back. All right, so you can see now all the stress of the exercise, even if she goes through a couple repetitions, we're not even recruiting the muscles that we're trying to for the exercise. A lot of things are being translated to the low back. It's probably painful for her to even fake it right now. Um, so we really want to fix that and bring it back in. Uh, another don't would be hand position. So we're going to get Rebecca to go pretty wide out there with her hands and really flare those elbows out. So a pretty common way of going about doing push-ups. Um, you know, good intention. We all think if we go wider, we're going to work more chest. But much more difficult position for the shoulder to recruit all the muscles that we're looking for, for the triceps, for the, for the, you know, for the chest, for our shoulders. Um, so we're going to want to bring that hand grip back in. All right? And as you guys get more advanced, you can play with the different hand positions. So those are kind of some of the main things as far as don'ts. And then the last one would be um, for Rebecca to sag in a little bit and let her shoulder blades come together. So this creates a lot of extra tension in the neck and in through your traps. So we want to avoid all that, all right? So keep that neck nice and relaxed. So as we go back to it, guys, we're gonna have, I'm going to have Rebecca bang out a couple more push-ups here with good form just so we can really groove the technique. If this is a new exercise, be patient. It might take a little bit to get it. And the great thing here we see, too, everything's coming up together, all right? So she's not peeling up off. And that's how it becomes a full body exercise. It's much more than just your chest. Um, so great exercise, you know, phenomenal addition to anyone's program. So hopefully you guys took away some, uh, some techniques, do's and don'ts. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy your workout.